Google Webmaster Tools Search Queries Hello and welcome back again. In this video session we're going to look at the search queries in Google Webmaster Tools. Search queries are basically that when people search when they use keywords they are called search queries. Okay, So you've got two different tabs here one is saying these are the top search queries and the other one is saying top landing pages that you have on your website okay so let's close that and let's go back to the um, top queries okay you can apply filters as we're gonna look at in the minute you also can play around with the date range here but before we do anything like that let's look at the impressions as well as clicks what are these okay let me demonstrate what they are let's say if someone was to search for a particular search term and when they do that Google um, search platform shows let's say my results here right now when that happens that actually is counted as an impression okay that means someone searched and my website's details appeared somewhere on this page that's called the result as in impression right but click then becomes if someone wants to search for some search terms and when they click on my details they are counted as clicks okay so that is the difference between impressions and clicks now we've got filters to apply here we can say we can type in some search queries and say bring me results containing this keyword or that keyword or you can actually uh, say filter out some terms you know like not containing some terms okay so that feature is available there for you also we've got image search mobile device search video search and web search so you know depending on your niche and your target audience as in you know are they using mobile devices are they particularly searching the the web search web search is this okay web search is just when they go online laptop desktop that's web search right so you can also specify you know filter out certain countries and also um, traffic as far as um, 10 plus impression and clicks and so on okay so all these features are there for you to play around with okay but you know I strongly encourage you to have a look at Google Analytics to give you know to get more insights and so on okay so let's leave out the filters and let's look at a couple of things first of all surely you can download all this information but you have this option here whereby you can say okay you know what let me press on with change because when I do that it actually shows you the changes and so on okay so let's go to the basics so let's not get confused here because you see when I look at this information in Google Webmaster Tools search queries okay what I tend to look at is I know what impressions are and I know what clicks are and I want to know my click-through rate also my my average position in search results page right but you see you know let, let's say impressions right the more the impression gives you an insight as to there is more opportunities for you to focus on certain keywords okay and if then your clicks are you know like not much in this example like in my example here you know there's a lot of impressions happening here but obviously I'm not getting good click through cl clicks through it right so my click through rate is only one percent and when I look at this average position I can see that I'm you know lingering down the bottom of the that search results page so what should this tell me they should tell me that you know what I should actually work on these keywords because they are getting searched a lot and yet I am not ranking high but if I was then surely I'm gonna get much more clicks right so 
that's how I use the search queries information in front of me I always look at that top landing pages are also important for me to say okay on my website you know um, as we can see this particular landing page is getting only you know two percent click-through rate although that's the case that is rather important landing page for me right but as we can see the impressions are a lot so that means I am appearing in those search results page somewhere okay but my click-through rates is terrible here and when I compare everything else and when I look at this information I have to say to myself you know what why don't I focus on targeting those search terms so that I can move myself in the first position so then the flow of traffic keeps coming to my website okay that's how I use this information and I encourage you to look at this information as such as well okay so that you can you know you know let, let's say looking at this information there is no point for me to go and target completely different set of keywords and then you know invest all my time and energy ranking them instead I should be looking at those that is already in the first page but they're on the bottom so that I can focus on that instead because I can see there is potential happening here as we can see that means people are searching for it right that's what I encourage you to do as well you know look at this information also sometimes you know you'll have a lot of impressions and you'll have you know um, you know let's say high click-through rates right and if that's the case okay let's say let's look at something else how to rank a website as we can see I'm getting 25% click-through rate right but I am on the third or fourth position surely impressions are you know 12 that's perhaps nothing but what I'm trying to tell you sometimes you'll have a lot of impressions and yet you know let's say I am on the fourth page here right so then you ask yourself okay you know how quick can I rank this in the first position okay and you take action accordingly instead of targeting completely new keywords you can look at the search queries data and then see where there is potential for you to you know a little bit more aggressive as far as off-page SEO and so on okay so that's how you look at this information because when you do then what will happen is you'll spend less energy and also get more results from your online business I thank you very much for learning with me and subscribing to rank your SEO services YouTube channel because I will be adding more useful videos for website owners like me and you thank you bye bye